When people think of the White House, of course they think of the Oval Office, the President's Office, probably one of the most famous rooms in America, if not the world. And then there's the briefing room where uh, the press secretary has his daily session with reporters. People don't really think about the East Room that way. It's, it's used so often for so many purposes um, that it can kind of be taken for granted and, and overlooked. We're talking about 60 times so far already in at least the first six months of Barack Obama's presidency. So that breaks down to roughly uh, at least a couple times a week that the press corps is ushered in and out of there for any number of events. There are all kinds of events that stand out. Probably the one that comes to mind first is the last primetime press conference. Uh, that event has a certain distinct White House feel. It's, uh, it's more dramatic, it's, it's more intimate, and so many people across the nation are watching. There's also the introduction of the president's first Supreme Court nominee, Sonia Sotomayor. She came out with the president and vice president. She had her family there. And the Obamas have used this for poetry slams, for children's concerts, uh, for professional concerts. Stevie Wonder was honored here. Just as the Obamas rely on this as their all-purpose room, basically every other president has since the White House was created over two centuries ago. From the time of uh, Abraham Lincoln's, some of his famous events was held here. And, and when he uh, was assassinated, his body uh, was was in state here when Gerald Ford took over for Richard Nixon when he resigned. Ford took the oath of office here and gave his famous speech about the nation's long nightmare being over. But then you have all of these fun moments that kind of get forgotten. Jimmy Carter's daughter was a, was a roller skater and she liked to use this as a rec room. Presidents themselves have, have thrown birthday parties themselves here. One time uh, there's a famous picture of Frank Sinatra dancing with Nancy Reagan and, and the president cutting in. So it doesn't have the same uh, cachet as, as other rooms, but it's still a fun place to be depending upon the day. And when you look at all the events together, it probably deserves more attention than it gets.